Hey everybody, I just wanted to check in now that we have finished with Unit 5. Um, that was a mammoth of a unit, I know. Um, I hope that, that you're all doing well, that uh, things are going well, you had a good weekend, happy Halloween, um, and that your uh, observance of Dia de los Muertos is going well, if that's something that you observe. Um, I just wanted to make a few comments about our work with uh, the 24th Infantry documents. Um, I really enjoyed reading through your conversations with one another in your replies uh, on Medium. Uh, also, your final reflections. Thank you for the excellent suggestions about uh, you know, possible modifications to the assignment. Um, I'm glad that so many of you enjoyed uh, working with the raw documents and trying to make some sense of them. Um, because again, as I, as I pointed out in the post that I uh, linked to in the last announcement, um, that was really the purpose of the assignment, it was just to kind of throw you into it and um, let you see what you could make of it to try to understand what kinds of questions and decisions historians have to make as they read uh, primary source documents in the archives, uh, what contextual information they have to look for, um, how easy it is to sort of go down rabbit holes. I know uh, several of you talked about going and finding more information about the 24th uh, Infantry on online um, at uh, blackpass.org was one good site for that. Um, I also appreciate the way that uh, so many of us uh, we're trying to step back and uh, examine our own preconceived ideas and biases and notions um, as we read these documents. Um, it's really easy to see Caroline Boone's uh, report as problematic and untrustworthy because it's so overtly racist. Um, it's really easy to see... Um, his name's Weeks, I'm forgetting his first name, John Weeks, uh, of the War Department as uh, trustworthy uh, just for the opposite reason. Yet we also have to realize, you know, he has a stake in presenting the 24th as a, uh, a good, solid, well-disciplined regiment, you know, as, as a representative of the U.S. War Department. Um, you know, so he has a certain stake in the game. And of course, um, I don't think anyone chose to uh, evaluate directly the message from, or the, re the letter, I should say, to the governor from Mayor Blair, um, or the report of the bank cashier. Um, they were two Columbus residents who were in favor of the 24th staying put. Um, many of you made reference to, uh, to their comments to contextualize the other documents, but um, those were interesting in part because the letter from the mayor was missing the first page. Um, it only had the, the second uh, two pages. Um, and that's just what was left in the archive, in the folder. Um, it wasn't a, a mistake that I made in the photography, um, although it could have been. I went back and double checked <laughs> because I was worried that might have been the case. Um, but that, that document just wasn't there. Um, and again, sometimes that happens. The historical record is incomplete and imperfect for so many reasons, not just because of the biases inherent in the documents and the perspectives themselves, but just also because what we have is incomplete and not the full picture. Um, so yeah, again, if you haven't read my entry, it's not any anything like a definitive, here's the answer kind of entry, um, but it was just a, an idea about a way that you could approach um, looking to another source to try to better understand the uh, folder of documents that we were looking at. If you weren't able to uh, work on the 24th Infantry documents yet, complete these assignments, you can still do that. Um, so as with everything in the course, there are no late penalties. You can go and, and do that work. Uh, the most important thing is that you're uh, thinking through different aspects of historical study and historical thinking, um, whether or not you miss some deadlines. If you need help or have questions, please let me know. If you are in the situation where you're a little behind, my uh, suggestion is to begin with Unit 6. That's what we're starting this week. Um, work on that before going back to catch up on things that you've missed. One of the big reasons for that is that Unit 6 is where we're starting our work on the final project. So Unit 6, Unit 7, Unit 8, um, we'll look at things in, in Unit 6, for example, we're going to focus during the first week on what makes a strong research question. 
because of course the question is at the heart of your research project and it will determine the kinds of sources you look for and the ways that you might limit or broaden your research work and uh, the kinds of interpretations you make. Question defines a lot, so it's important to have a strong one. Um, getting a phone call. Um, second, um, oh, the second week you'll draft your own research question for your own project. So again, start there, super important, uh, before going back to other things. Um, if you have any questions or need any help, please don't hesitate to reach out and I'll talk to you soon.